Hi, today I want to show you how I make use of technologies to prepare pronunciation of new words for my oral presentation as an assignment in my speaking class. In this presentation assignment, I am required to choose and present about an interesting person to my whole class. And I also need to add my own viewpoint about this person, for example, explaining why I think that person is interesting and whether or not I agree with um, that person on one of the issues that he is talking about. And here is the resource that I choose from the content of my presentation. This is a section on the Americans in the Valleys of America website. Um, and you can see here, people in America. And this is an article about Evan Luce. And um, he is a CEO and the founder of the Hungry Harvest, which is a business collecting and selling ugly produce of fruits and vegetables that most food companies would throw away. And the resource, and you can see here, it has video. Um, interviews with the person so that I can learn more about him and then an um, article going with it and it has a lot of information about the person. So one of the important steps to prepare for this presentation is that I need to check pronunciation of new words or phrases that I either don't know or I'm not sure about. So here is how I do that. In this note I outline the presentation and I also add new words or expressions that I don't know in the article so that I can check their meaning and pronunciation. I also note down the words or expressions that I'm not sure about how to pronounce them for checking. So for example, this one, I know this word in um, is the verb, but I don't know how to pronounce it as a noun. So here is how I can get help with checking pronunciation of these words and expressions. Um, let's take one of these words in my note here, for example, uh, this phrase. And I often check the pronunciation of a new word in different resources in order to help me acquire it um, effectively. The first resource that I usually use is an online dictionary. Um, the online dictionary often has the audio that's showing you how to pronounce a word. And my favorite online dictionary is a Merriam-Webster. And um, here you can see I'm typing the whole phrase. Fresh. Reduce. But no result is found. So I have to type in each word in a phrase individually. So for example, I need to type the word produce. And then I also want to look for the um, phonetic transcription and the audio of the word as a noun. And as you can see here, it is a verb. So I need to go down. And then here is the word as a noun. And then I look up the phonetic transcription. And then I play the audio. Produce. My second place to check the pronunciation of word or phrase is Google Translate. And as you can see here, I'm typing the whole phrase. And then I click in on the audio icon here for its pronunciation. Fresh produce. From the two um, resources that I show you, there are several limitations um, in their ways of showing me the pronunciations of the word. First, the dictionary doesn't allow me to look for pronunciation of the whole phrase. I have to type individual words in a phrase instead. And secondly, the pronunciation of the words in the two resources are often either in male or female voice without a clear indication of which accent. And they are also recorded in isolated speech, but not in a connected speech in a real context. And as a language learner, I really want to see how it is produced by different people in real life context. And I'm also particularly interested in learning how it is pronounced in the American accent particularly as well. So here is how I search for that. I go to the Eulish.com. And uh, as you have learned from the lecture, the website has designed by Dan Hoblin, and it is based on YouTube. There's a huge mass of content available on YouTube. Some YouTube videos include transcripts, and the Youglish will let you search for those transcripts. You only need to type a word and then press enter, and you get a video where someone is saying that word. The video will automatically start from the relevant sentence, so there's no need um, to look for the right place. So as you can see here, I type the whole phrase, fresh produce, 
and then I hit enter or I can either click um, say it and as you can see here I got 141 speech samples containing that word I will play one for you to uh, see you know the fresh produce that you guys eat and grow yes I can control the video by either playing it pausing it replaying it or going back by five seconds also if I want to see more examples of the word being pronounced in other contexts I can also simply click the big arrow button um, as you can see here uh, to go to the next video result this can take a bunch of fresh produce home in addition to the non-perishables so this is really nice interface browsing examples or real life speech. It's very cool. And if I want to save the examples um, or the search results uh, for my record, I can also save them by um, uh, clicking on the save button here. And it wants me to sign in or to create a new account um, on this website.